Two men have been jailed for life for the murder of the footballer Cody Fisher on Boxing Day in 2022. Remy Gordon will serve a minimum of 26 years and Kawhi Carpenter will serve a minimum of 25 years for their part in the nightclub knife attack in Birmingham. Well, Becky Cottrell can join us now from Birmingham Crown Court. Uh, Becky, a emotional day for Cody Fisher's family. Yes, this is the day that they've been waiting for. And sadly, they said after those sentences has been revealed that they didn't feel that justice had been truly served, that these sentences wouldn't be enough to deter other young men from taking knives out onto the street. Just to remind you the backstory of this case, this all resulted from what was a fairly trivial altercation between Cody Fisher and a man named Remy Gordon. Cody accidentally bumped into him on a night out and Remy Gordon took such offence to it, he wanted to establish who Cody Fisher was and, and, and plan an attack on him and two nights later after that altercation Remy Gordon and his associates went to another nightclub where they knew Cody Fisher would be and it's believed that an associate of Remy Gordon's uh, a man um, named Kemai Carpenter took a zombie knife into the club and stabbed Cody and the judge described how that knife had serrated edges and caused devastating impact um, piercing Cody's lungs and heart and we know that um, the men who set upon Cody remained punching and kicking him as he lay dying. And in fairly chilling CCTV footage that we've seen from later that night, Remy Gordon, who was painted as the mastermind of this attack, can be seen in a nearby takeaway, reenacting that violence, smiling and laughing as he shows how he kicked um, the dying Cody Fisher. Now, after those sentences uh, were announced today, Cody's family came out um, to talk about the devastating impact of all this. And you can hear now from his mother, Tracy Fisher. We always knew in our broken hearts what the conclusion would be without any doubt that our beautiful boy had lost his life down to knife crime for no reason at all. The sentence passed is somewhat a blessing that they are no longer on our streets and hopefully go somewhat to try and eradicate this awful epidemic that is ruining so many lives. Sadly, not all have been brought to account, but they know who they are. For us as a family, Cody will still not come home and we will forever live in the shadow of his senseless murder. I know that our grief will go on and we will continue with our life sentence, missing our child each and every day. We also heard today from Cody's girlfriend, Jess Chatwin, a statement read out on behalf of her in court. Um, she spoke about Cody being the love of her life, her friend, her soulmate. She said that her world had been shattered and she was not only tormented by Cody's loss, but also by her memories of that evening. She was there with Cody and she described holding him as he lay dying in her arms. She said, my life stopped that day. And Cody's family have spoken about feeling like they are the ones serving life sentences, essentially unable to move on from this awful tragedy that they have suffered. But of course, now today is the day that his killers begin their life sentences. Um, and we should also mention another young man as well, Rem Regan Anderson. Um, he was cleared of Cody's murder. He was there that night. He was involved in the altercation that took place um, in the fight that happened as Cody was killed. He has been sentenced to 18 months in prison, but he's already served a good amount of that while he was on remand.